Jordan the Cast with What's Up Guys, and really quick before I get into today's topic, I want to thank my good buddy Norco for sending over another one of his gameplays for me to use. Uh, I'm still waiting on mine to be sent over to me by Dr. Doom, so until I can get those uploaded and sent over, uh, I'm probably going to be using some of Norco's gameplays. He's got a few on his hard drive he's going to let me use, uh, and I really appreciate that. So his link will be down in the description. And uh, yeah, so anyway, uh, today's topic is something that's been recently announced by DICE, and there's already a couple videos on this out, but I kind of wanted to sit down and give my opinions on it and talk a little bit about it. Uh, and that's Battlefield 3 is going to be releasing a patch. Uh, I don't exactly know when it's due to come out, uh, or really all of what it's doing, but uh, there, there's a website, and I'll leave the link down below, that goes over kind of the main points of the patch, and uh, one of the biggest things that stood out to me is the fact that they're actually going to be buffing up the jets and the pistols and the UMP. So they're going to be giving these three things that I thought were fairly balanced already on their own. Uh, they're going to be giving a little bit of buff. Uh, so basically, uh, in terms of the Jets, I think the Jets, as they are right now, are flawless. Uh, they're mainly in air-to-air -air combat. They're not really all that great for taking out infantry on the ground or even tanks or, or anything like that. They're more based on keeping the skies clear. They're, they're based on taking out other Jets, taking out helicopters, uh, and stuff like that, which I think plays a good role. I think it's good to have, you know... Something in the game that can counter something like an attack chopper or something like that. They can get up in the air and take it down. I think that's really balanced. And, it, you know, if you get a good jet pilot, he can make bombing runs and missile runs and, you know, stuff like that. And he's able to take out infantry units and he's able to take out tanks and stuff. So, you know, with experience, I think anyone can be a good jet. And I think as people rank up the jets and as they unlock certain things for them, I think the jets could become a problem as they are right now. Because you can unlock a bunch of stuff for them that really makes them you know, a predominant, a predominant vehicle in the game. As they are right now, they're kind of just for fun and to mess around. But I think as people start unlocking things, they're going to become a big part of what Battlefield 3 is in terms of, you know, air-to-ground combat. So I don't know if the Jets exactly need a buff, uh, but they are going to give them a buff and, you know, up the power a little bit on them. I don't exactly know what they're doing to them. Uh, I don't know if they're just upping the damage of the guns. Maybe they're upping, you know, the accuracy of it. I don't exactly know. But uh, all I know is that they need a practice mode for it. They need to put in something where you can go in and just practice flying jets and helicopters. Because I cannot, I can fly a helicopter all right, but I get behind the wheel of a jet and it goes straight into the ground. So I definitely need to work on it. And it's so hard to get one in the multiplayer game because you're trying to focus on the game itself. And then you kind of have to get lucky and just catch one out of the corner of your eye and go jump in it. So it's kind of difficult. I'd like to see a practice mode put in where you can just go in a server uh, and fly them around for fun on your own and just kind of learn and and feel out the jets. I think that'd be cool. But anyway, the second thing they're doing is they're giving the pistols a little bit of a power buff. Uh, now, I don't, I can't see a conceivable reason of why you'd be doing this. Uh, I think the pistols are perfectly fine how they are. Uh, they're not, you know, to the point where you can't use them as a primary weapon because you definitely can use, you know, like an 18-bullet clip pistol like the G17 or the MP443. Uh, you could use those things as primary weapons, hands down. I've used the G17C as my main pistol, uh, and I've run out of ammo a couple times in an assault rifle and still been able to pick up three or four kills using a pistol. Uh, so I don't know why they'd be giving them a power buff, uh, but, you know, DICE has their reasons. They're a pretty good developer. Uh, you know, they usually stand behind their games, and they know what they're doing with it, so I trust them with it, uh, but I just can't see a conceivable reason. So they are giving the pistols a little bit of a buff. Um, I'm a little bit worried about that one. I'm worried that the pistols might become a little bit OP, but we'll see how that all plays out. And the third thing they're doing is they're going to be giving the uh, UMP-45 a little bit of a power buff. Now, in the beta, it was pretty overpowered, the UMP. Uh, it could do pretty good work on an enemy team, and they actually buffed it, uh, or not buffed it, they uh, toned it down a little bit in the full release, and they actually said that they've toned it down a little bit too much. It's become almost unusable at range, uh, which I have the UMP unlocked. I haven't used it yet because I'm trying to rank up all my assault guns, uh, but from the people that have used it, I've heard that it is basically useless uh, past a certain point of range. It's basically... Uh, you may as well be using a pistol, you know, past a couple hundred yards. So maybe it, I, it, it might need a power buff. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. I'd like to see it become, you know, a very usable weapon because I love the UMP. I love how it looks. I love the, you know, how it feels in Call of Duty. And if it's anything like that in Battlefield, uh, I think I think it should be a usable weapon. I think the UMP is a good solid gun, and uh, I'd love to use it. But you know, I've heard from certain people that it sucks right now. So I'm not going to use it until the patch comes out. Uh, but once it does, I'll try using it and uh, see how that works. But anyway, the other little things they're fixing are they're fixing. Let me find it here. They're fixing PS3 users' communication problems. I don't exactly know what that's about because I don't have a PS3. Uh, but they are fixing the uh, the Battlefield 3 launch, you know, the .exe file. Uh, it, I guess for some people it's not responding when they try to open it or join a game. So they are going to be fixing that, uh, which is good because the PC does have a few problems with it uh, in terms of launching the game off Battlelog and stuff, which, you know, Battlelog is... It's all right. It's not that great of a system, I don't think. I don't see why you would take away a PC staple like an in-game server browser, give it to console, and then, you know, take it away from PC. Uh, but, you know, 
that logs okay. It's bearable, but they are having some problems with launching the game from it. Uh, they're putting uh, in PS3 input lags being fixed. I guess people are having problems with um, you know sensitivity issues and stuff like that. And they're also going to be fixing the ability to team up with friends in a squad and uh, kind of just mess around in that. So that's going to be good that you're actually able to join a game now and get into the same game with your friends. That'll be a plus. Uh, so Dice is stepping up to the plate. They are working on all the problems people have complained about. A few of them questionable, like the buffing the pistol and the jets. But you know Dice knows what they're doing. And and they, uh, they are working on their games, something a lot of developers can't say. So, high five to DICE for doing this. Uh, and really quick at the end here, if you guys have Battle Log and want to add me on it, uh, I need people to play PC with. Uh, so if any of you guys have Battle Log, I'll leave my Battle Log name down below. It's just Joe Cavs, and I'll leave it in the description. So if you guys have Battle Log and uh, look for someone to play, you know, just add me up on there. Uh, and yeah, we'll hook up some time in game. So anyway, I'm going to go play Battlefield 3. I don't even know why I stopped playing it to make this. It's very hard to stop playing. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Once again, thank you to Norco for sending over the gameplay. And I will uh, talk to you guys later.